Hey guys, Fat Man's back. Um, I can't find dowels the size that I need, so I'm going to have to make them. And in order to do that, I need to hold my work together nice and steady. So I'm just going to stick it in my vise. This is my little mini Hanna vise. You know, it's pretty cool because I can go here, I can do all kinds of stuff with it. I just don't have a good place to mount it permanently. I just have a square file. When you cut grooves in these, the grooves are for two things. To help give the glue a place to grab, and when you're driving it in, it's to release air pressure because it's going to be tight with the glue in there and everything so it's got to, the air has to have a way to get out so I want to cut just well, that didn't work so good it didn't stay there I suppose it would help if I tightened it up, huh? <laughs> Alright, so I just want to go now this groove doesn't have to be super deep or anything file's not working real great. Oh yeah, I guess it's doing okay. And I'm going to put a couple of them in here. So you can kind of see what we got going on, I hope. Get that stupid thing to do it. No, it ain't going to do it for me. You can see there's just a groove in there. And it goes the full length of the dowel. And I'm going to put, I don't know, three or four in here. Because as I'm driving this dowel in, I uh, want to release some air pressure. So I think rather, you know, it only takes a few seconds anyway, but who wants to sit and watch Watch my man boobs jiggle while I'm filing a uh, groove and a piece of towel. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, I got this one, I got the other one cut. I'm going to get the grooves cut in them and I'll be back in a minute. Alright, got my dowels all made. Turn the stock around, hopefully you can uh, get a better look at what I'm doing here. Hopefully I can see what I'm doing. But you can see better how I drilled the holes. And now, I'm just going to take my glue will run back down. squeeze some into each hole. I did uh, taper the end a little bit that's going in. And I want some coverage on the dowel too. finger off. And now I'd like to have a wooden mallet but I don't have one down here. I'm just gonna not too fast and not you know the air has to have a chance to escape as you're going in so I'll drive it a little ways 
and then I'll stop. Chances are you're going to beat up the end of that dowel. So be prepared to lose a little bit. That's why I always cut them just a little bit long. Right here I'm going to take a block of wood. We must be bottomed out in the hole. so. I'm gonna the cutters go. Just lop it off. It's only half an inch or so. So I'm sure it's all the way down in the hole. If I wanna I can try. So, we'll do the same thing with the other dowel. Oh, it actually slid in there a little ways by itself. Which is fine. The glue will take up any airspace. Well, that one went in pretty easy compared to the other one. I must have got this hole a little bit. there now. And again, we'll just try to cut it off in a couple different directions. Now is the best time to uh, finish cleaning that up. So while everything is, the glue is all wet. Because once that glue dries, everything is going to harden up. And that's going to do for now. Again, I'll stick it under the bench, let it sit and dry. And I took the action apart, so I'm going to do a little bit of work on that while I'm waiting. Um, I'll get back with you in the next video. Stay safe, God bless, and uh, you know, have a good night. Bye for now.